Hey folks, today I want to show you how I converted my old surface grinder to a belt grinder. Let's take a look. So a while back, a friend contacted me. He said, hey, Tony, you got any use for a surface grinder in your shop? I said, sure. Anyway, this surface grinder is so old, there's no doubt around when they made Abraham Lincoln's coffin. There's no information on the internet about it. But beggars can't be choosy, and I've wanted a surface grinder for years. I kind of took it down, took the table off, cleaned it up. There's a, there's a little bit of issue here. You see that backlash? I need to work on the gear there. Master Smith Steve Schwarzer, a good friend of mine, reconditioned my old chuck. It was in bad shape. But it looks really good now. I'm really happy with it. But I want to walk you through how I converted it from a stone grinder to a belt grinder. Now, the stone grinder is much more accurate, but having a belt grinder makes work a little faster. And I'm not building stuff for NASA, but I do want things flat. I just don't have all day to do it. So using a belt makes it a little more efficient, a little more faster. But I wanna walk you through how I did this conversion. Now the first real challenge was a way to fix an arm to this tapered spindle. A lot of the grinders I see converted nowadays have a good square mounting support, something like that, but I didn't have that but I did have these clamps on each side of the spindle that were for guards and such that I was able to mount to. And what I did was took an old arm from a very old coot grinder that I've had probably for 30 plus years and mounted it on here with a couple bolts and a brace off of the backside up here at the tops where I can do tracking. I've got about a 30 pound spring on there to hold tension then I just got this arm on here that I can slip on and off and do my tensioning. Not a whole lot to that. I wanted it straight up and down because I wanted all the force to be here. I didn't want the tension pulling on these clamps off to the side. Now I already had this old wheel and I had to modify it, cut it down on the lathe or my mill rather to fit this shaft and still be able to bolt it up here. I also took a piece of sandpaper and stuck it down on top of this chuck and resurfaced this wheel to make it square with the chuck. If you want it square all the way across so you'll have a good flat even grind. And I took my time and did that and it turned out pretty good. I may change this out to a serrated wheel but I really like the finish that it's putting out right now. I've went from a 50 grit belt up to a 400 grit belt, works fine. But like I said before, a stone wheel would do a much better job as far as accuracy, but this does good enough for knife making purposes. I really needed this for doing my folder blades because the way I've done it in the past is over on a disc sander. And that is really finicky and hard to do, and you'll mess up several blades. It can be done, but this is so much better. You're almost guaranteed a good flat blade. Anyway, let's put a belt on it. Let's show you what it'll do.
So it come out pretty good, but I think it could be better. The wheel I'm using is flat and it's probably not quite 90 durometer. Also, I saw on Instagram where Master Smith Rick Dunkerley is using a aluminum wheel for his surface wheel. And he took his diamond dresser and put a carbide insert in there and squared his wheel with his chuck. It's pretty interesting. I might go to something like that. Never seen anybody use a hard wheel for a belt conversion. It's always been a rubber contact wheel. I think a serrated wheel might run a little better, but also a harder wheel. This is an old wheel and they didn't make them as good back then as they do now. But even still, it's gonna get me by until I get something else. I think it's doing a pretty good job. I finished a piece up to 400 grit yesterday. It looks pretty good and it measured the same all across the piece of steel. And for what I'm doing, that'll work just fine. Now, one thing to consider when you convert to a belt grinder, you're gonna probably roll the edges on your steel. So you might wanna put some sacrificial pieces, the same thickness, on each side so you don't roll your actual blade or whatever you're working on right on the edges. Stone wheel, you don't have that problem. Again, you can modify and make this work. Anyway, a lot of knife makers do this and I'm finally glad to be able to have one myself. It's not the most modern machine by any stretch, but it works and I appreciate it. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to support the channel, a link to my Patreon is below. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.